Welcome to the ghost town of Douglasville, Arizona. Current population 3, plus some people scattered around the area. Founded one century ago by James Theodore Douglas, in the beginning it was nothing more than a mining camp, but it grew bit by bit until turning into a flourishing town. Everyone was prospered thanks to the huge profits of the mine. However, everything changed when the largest mine shaft bumped into something totally unexpected, a hope village. The natives weren't willing to let foreigners ravage their land and G.T. Douglas was not the kind of man who would give up a fortune just because some natives got in his way. It was a bloodbath. The Hope tribe's medicine man came into Douglasville one morning at dawn. He stood in the middle of town and cast a spell on the mine and all of the men that might try to take over Hope lands. They killed him on the spot, but the curse took effect. The mine inexplicably ran out of gold overnight, and not one more nugget of gold was taken out. The people in town started to catch a strange disease that the doctor couldn't cure. Whole families were driven out of Douglasville in fear, trying to get away from the curse. The final straw was on the hottest day of summer, when the bank was burned to the ground by a sibling fortuitous gas lamp accident. James Theodore Douglas owned the bank too. That's where he was sitting, in his fancy head French armchair brought in straight from Champs Les Sims, when the flames devoured him. Hello baby boys and welcome to Crazy Sims, my name is Crazy Darwin, I'm from Strange Town and this is Douglas View. One thing that I'm loving already about Douglas View is its aesthetic, okay? So you, we can see here like the white houses with the brown roofs. That's really unique to this hood and I love that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this is inspired by a real world aesthetic of some place. But it is looking so freaking nice here in The Sims and I love it. Also, um, another thing that I'm loving already is that this hood is reminding me so much of The Hills Have Eyes, um, that movie, you know, and I love that movie, so I don't know, it just, it feels kind of scary to play here, you know, a hood in the desert, it is kind of a ghost town as well, so yeah, I don't know, but I love it. I gotta love how unique this map is looking. Obviously, there is some custom content related to it, uh, but you do not uh, need to download it. But why not? It is looking so freaking nice. Um, we have some lots here away, like from the main city. We even have a roadless lot, so that's such a cool touch. Um, another nice detail, um, the mine mentioned before is here, so how cool is that? It is reminding me a little bit of like Sims 4 maps and I love it. Um, but anyway, let's check some families already. In the end of the video, I'm going to rank this hood from 0 to 5 plum bobs, okay? I'm doing that now, so watch to the end of the video and you will find out. Not that it matters, but anyway, I think that's fun. The lot of Douglas View is really big, okay? It is giving book chapter and I love it, but because English is not my first language, I'm going to read um, things off camera and then I'm going to like explain and summarize it um, for you guys, okay? Okay, so the storyline here is actually pretty cool. This is a family of two thugs and they are following this lady. Her name is Gina and they believe she's holding a treasure, but actually she's not. Obviously, they don't know that. They are not from here, okay? They are just here to follow this lady and take her money that she does not even have. Uh, but anyway, that's the lot here and that's actually pretty cool. So the lady, her name is Gina and she's a townie. She does not live in town, so I was not able to track her. Uh, but yeah, she's like Bella God in a strange town, I guess. The Tugs are living, I guess not living, but staying actually in this little cabin. It is looking so cute, you know. It's not a big build or anything like that, but that's not the point, right? So it makes a lot of sense. I love the inside of it. It looks so freaking cute, so well decorated. I mean, how nice this is looking. And with the custom um, skyline, look how nice. Oh my God, I love that. 
but that is just one bed so i guess they are taking turns which makes sense you know because one of them must stay up just in case um and when the game starts hoko wallace whatever whoever actually that is is inside with Fyodor and Gustav is waiting outside so something is up this is Fyodor and I'm not able to pronounce his last name but he's a fortune sim with a want locked in to earn some money so that's cool he is working in the criminal career as a bag man let's check his relationships panel okay so he is good friends with Gustav and Rocco, but he is enemies with Brian and Gina. Let's check his memories. Um, wait a second. Okay, so his personality points. As we can see, he's really bad. Um, but now let's check his memories, like I said. Okay, so his memories are telling us a lot about his past, and I love that. So from what I have understood, his parents were killed. And then, you know, he started, like, living in orphanages, as we can see here, so that's really sad. And then, you know, he became this piece of shit of a man, I guess. That's pretty much his storyline here. Um, that's really cool, though. Um, let's check his family tree. Okay, so family trees in Douglasville, they are not really extensive. As you can see, that is, you know, just the seams of created seam, I guess. That's fine anyway, but it's always nice seeing big family trees, okay? Here we have his friend Gustav, and oh my, what a nose, Gustav, what a nose. But yeah, <laughs> a, what a mouth as well. His face traits are all over the place, and I love it. Um, he is a fortunate sim as well, with a want locked in to earn some money, which only makes sense. Um, he is working in the criminal career as well, but he's way advanced um, if compared with Fyodor, okay? He's level 9 already, so he is a big name in the criminal career. Um, here we have his relationships panel, and it is pretty much the same as Fyodor's. Let's check his memories. Um, okay, so, you know, just like um, Fyodor's, his life was always like pretty shitty and dysfunctional you know um so that maybe is like justifying his bad actions now i don't know um let's check his family tree okay so just him and just because i checked um few jars let's check his personality points okay so he is you know pretty bad just like him I love how things are happening here, um, the study line is pretty fun and I love the little cabin and now let's check other family. This is where Rocco Wallace is living and he is living pretty near to Gustav and Fyodor and that is because actually he is the helicopter driver who escorts Gustav and Fyodor here, okay? So he is waiting for the thugs to get to Gina and then they will like fly away um, of Douglas View, I guess. But he's a romance sim. And there is three drag queens here that are lost in Douglas View and he is kinda blown away by them. So how cool is that and how tangled the families in Douglas View are? I love this plot, okay? I'm in love already. I don't know what to call this, um, maybe like a helicopter garage? I really don't know, keep in mind English is not my first language, but I love how things are looking here. It blows my mind how, you know, how much you can do with the game. And most people do not realize that. So we have here a little room, like there is even a space for him to work out. So I love that. Um, we have a lot of boxes here, which I feel like it only makes sense, okay? Um, I'm wondering where is the bathroom, so I guess it is here. Yes, okay, there is a bathroom, that's good. Where is the shower here? Okay, so everything is here. Everything is super well decorated and I really love it. Here we have Rocco Wallace himself and oh my, I don't want to say he's looking good, but he's looking unique and that is pretty good. He's a romance sim and he have the want locked in to woohoo and that only makes sense as we have three beautiful ladies here in the outside of his 
I don't want to say house, maybe his garage, I don't know. Um, anyway, he is working in the criminal career as a getaway driver. No, nothing good starts in a getaway car. And I love that he's working as a getaway driver because that is what he really is in the lore. Okay, so it makes a lot of sense and it is such a nice touch. Let's check his memories. Okay, so not a lot has happened, but he remembers... Um, winning a fight against a dog so yeah that's that's really something i don't know um his relationships panel here we have um gustav and fyodor as his um you know good friends and then he you know just met the three drag queens and he's really attracted to both of them so that's cool family tree is just him but that's okay and by his personality points, we can see that he's pretty bad as well, but he's really outgoing and playful, so you know, a classic romance sim. I gotta love how the families in Douglas View are all tangled, and there is a lot of things happening, and like, the sims are all connected, so that's really cool. So, Hoko's um, storyline is pretty connected to the Tugs, so yeah, but we also have the drag queens here, so you know, they are about to start something, I guess, and that is really cool, I love that. And then we have the drag queens themselves, so the storyline here is obviously inspired by Priscilla, that movie, you know, um, they are three drag, drag queens and they are on tour around C Nation, but then their bro bus broke here in Douglasville and the bus driver got away with their money so now they are stuck here forever I guess I don't know but yeah the starting line is crazy good and the bus is looking so cute oh my god and so well decorated let's check the insides real quick so this is a very like drag queenish bus I would say I love drag queens you know I'm a drag haze fan um we even have like the bus uh, the bus um the driver actually the driver's seat here so how creative this is looking and how nice as well like look at that view oh my god i love that so yeah we have two beds so one of them i guess is having to sleep here in the cabin but that is fine anyway and yeah the starting line here is great the bus is looking great and now let's take a closer look on the sims actually wait a second because i almost did not mention this beautiful landscape that is like simulating um the bus you know um getting out of the hold and like getting stuck here so oh my god this blows my mind here we have the drag queen Lula La Mer. Not sure if that's the right um, pronounce, but I think it is. Anyway, she's a popularity sim, which I feel like makes a lot of sense for a drag queen. Um, she is unemployed right now, but that's, you know, because we don't have a drag queen career here. But it's like she's not uh, really unemployed. Do you know what I mean? Anyway... Um, that's just a storyline here, okay? Because we can actually see throughout her memories that she had a job in the athletic career and then she got a bad reputation. I wonder why. And then, you know, she got, she quitted... Uh, actually, yeah, she quitted her job and then she started working as a drag queen. Um, so that's really cool. And then she also remembers, like, moving out... And there is like a little mic here in the icon. So I guess sh that's symbolizing the that they went for a tour. So that's really cool. And then, you know, moved in as a desert tree to symbolize that they got stuck in Douglas View. So that's really cool. And then we have Got Pickpocket by Julius Sandwich. Um, I don't know if that's the way you say his name. But anyway, that's the bus driver who left um, with their money. So how cool is that? Such a cool set of memories. But you know me, I was wishing that we had like toddler memories as well and grow up memories and you know, a little background to their childhood and stuff as well. But the way memories were used here is pretty impressive and really cool anyway. 
This is Carla Hewitt. Uh, again, not sure if that's the right pronounce, but she's reminding me so much of Erika from Drag Haze. So I love that. Um, she's obviously a big girl, and I love how in the drag community, big girls are celebrated. So that's really cool. She's a family sim. Um, she's unemployed right now, but featuring a lot of skill points. And like I said before, she's unemployed, but she's working, okay? She's a drag queen on a tour, so that's really cool. Let's check her memories um, real quick. Okay, so she had a job in the military career, and then, you know, she started um, working as a drag queen and, you know, a lot of things happened. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so she is in love with her drag queen friend Mariola or Mariola, I don't know. Um, that's really cool, but Mariola is actually um, not interested. So that's, you know, something. But again, a really cool set of memories telling us a lot about her, like, Past, but at the same time not way too much because we don't have the childhood the memories so yeah but that's cool anyway then we have Mariola Fernandez so I guess she's a Latina I love that um she's a Roman sim and she have the one locked in to woohoo so I'm wishing you the best of luck okay um, she is unemployed, obviously, like I said before, working as a drag queen and blah blah blah. Let's check her memories. Okay, so she grew up badly. The icon is missing here, but okay. She got a job in the entertainment career as well, which um, I'm not really getting here. I guess the, the memories are actually messed up. I feel like she had a job in the slack career and now she's working as a drag queen. So that's probably, um, you know, an oversight. But anyway, she remembers um, finding a roommate in Carla. So that's really cool. Um, they are like best friends, you know, but she's not interested in sex with her, basically, or love. And that's her memories. So a good set of memories again. Even though, like, the three seems they share similar memories, but that's cool. I was reading their bios off-camera, and the lore here is pretty good. Douglas View got me really impressed, I gotta say. But yeah, I'll leave the bio for you guys to read in your games, okay? Because, as I said before, English is clearly not my first language, and so I struggle a lot reading this like extensive bios and stuff but the lot here is great 10 out of 10. now let's check our last family our last family is composed by mama dorita and oscar so mama dorita is like a tribal spiritual leader you know she's a medium and she is a witch and oscar is a giant okay that's what the family bio says and he is here to protect Mama Dorita. So Mama is actually a native. She is part of the Hope tribe. And Oscar, from what I have seen, is a not. But she saved him from darkness. I don't know what that means. And because of that, he's a loyal uh, protector of her. Okay, that's the lore here. Also, she feels that these like three thugs that are here in town, they are up to something and she's ready to fight then. So again, the families are all tangled. There is a lot of potential for drama, chaos, you know, the stuff that we love in Sims, but we hate in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I love that. And they are living in this like a tribal aesthetically um, house. Um, I don't know how to call it, but anyway, um, it is looking super cool, super well decorated, you know, there is a lot of, um, cool decorations and, like, tribal images, um, so much is happening, like, these houses are all crazy decorated, you know, in a good way, I mean that, um, we have this little, like, witchy room that I really enjoy, it is looking so pretty, Again, so well decorated. I love that. Like Douglas View, the aesthetic of Douglas View is so on point, but also is the lore, um, the seams, and everything, to be honest. I'm in love with this hood. 
Here we have Mama Dorita herself, the witch, and she's looking so tired, but I love that. Um, she is a knowledge sim, which I feel like makes a lot of sense. And she is actually a medium, okay? She's working as a medium in the paranormal career, so that's really cool. Um, let's check her memories. Okay, so like she remembers um, becoming a witch. What is that memory? Uh, Mama Markella became a witch. So I guess that's probably her mom. That's really cool if that's the case. Um, she remembers, you know, getting a voodoo doll. Um, she was a, she was just a children when she became a witch, so that's really cool. She remembers getting a job in the paranormal career, and then she remembers. Oh, okay, so she saved Oscar from death. That is what it means that she saved him from darkness. How cool is that? And then they became like best friends, so that's really nice. Actually, Mama Carmela is her sister and she is alive, so that's really cool. I guess um, her sister is a townie because I was not able to find her, but anyway, that's really cool. This is Oscar and he is really a giant, okay? I can tell that like that um, stretch or something cheat was used. So he is really high, um, you know, his height was altered. So that's really nice. Let's check his face. Wait a second. Oh my God. Okay. So his face is looking weird to say the least, but I guess, you know, he's looking like a giant. And I guess that's the whole point here, obviously. So he's a family sim, which is so cute. Like a giant who wants a family. I love that. Um, he is unemployed right now because I guess his job is to protect Mama Dorita and that is it. Um, let's check his memories. Um, okay, so he remembers having like a crazy bad life. He used to work as a criminal, so that's something. Um, and then he was saved from that by Mama Dorita and then he quit her jo his job and moved in with her so that's a really nice story is like she's a mom to him a mom figure and i love that okay so again the storyline here is pretty cool um the families are all tangled like i said a lot of drama is about to happen and already happening as well so that's so cool and so much fun anyway let's go back to hoodville now Okay, so Douglasville is a ghost town, and so because of that, there is just a few community lots for us to explore. We have here the um, gro grocery store, a liquor store, and the sheriff's office. So, you know, just the three of them, but that's really cool anyway, you know, it makes sense because, like I said before, this is a ghost town, so obviously there is not a lot of things happening here when it comes down to... A business you know but yeah so that's the whole map everything is looking pretty cool pretty awesome and now let's go and rank this hood that's the moment where i rank the hood from zero to five plum bobs so now to my final opinions on douglas view i'll try to not be so repetitive but you know me you know i don't know a lot of words in english so anyway um, when it comes down to the aesthetic of Douglas View, I have no words. Um, the whole hood is looking so cool. You know, we don't have like beautiful houses because that's not the point. Um, it is a ghost town in the middle of the desert. So, you know, we are not featuring like big mansions and castles and that's not the vibe here anyway. So that's not a problem. Um, actually, I enjoy a lot when custom hoods keep it, um, you know, realistic at some point when it comes down to the builds, you know. Um, it, it looks like houses that we could is easily found um, in the real life in like a bad place or a ghost town, okay? So that's a big pro to me. Um, also, like the memories. Um, I'm in between like and dislike because I like how the memories were set, but that's not the way that I like to play with memories. Um, it is, but not 100%. Let me explain. I was hoping for childhood memories, 
um, you know, toddler skills, memories. I don't know why, but I do care about that. So that's something. Also, the family trees um, not being um, really extended. This does bother me a little bit. Not that I'm someone, you know, but it, it is just my opinion because this is a review video. Uh, but my opinion does not really matter. I want to make that clear. Anyway, um, also the lore. Okay, so the lore of Douglas View is a high, high point of the hood. Um, the families are all tangled, like I said. And it, this does make a lot of difference, I feel like. So that's a big pro again. And because of all of that that I just mentioned, I'm going to hang this hood four plum bobs out of five okay i can't give five because i was not impressed by family trees and stuff but other than that oh my god this was such a cool hood such a cool project um the creator must be so proud i hope they are and that was today's video so i hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you in the next one and I never know what to say when I'm ending a video, but I'm ending this video right now. So XOXO, Cruz Darwin.